Happy Chinese New Year, everyone. Uh, or in Mandarin, Xin Yi Kuai Lun. Happy Lunar New Year. Uh, so we're gonna do whole fish, which is traditional, means abundance, amongst other things. I have porgy, I'm here in the East Coast, so we're gonna do whole porgies. Um, I've done steam before, different cooking process. We're gonna do one in the pan since I think everybody can do this at home. Steamer is another way you could do it. I have something on my blog at chefsace.com that you can check out, which you can use a similar sauce and similar idea with the fish. Uh, you can do it whole as well. So we'll take the porgy, and it's been gutted. As you can tell, it guts out. And so I'm gonna pat this dry. Please be careful of this dorsal fin right here. Super sharp. So when you go this way, don't, because you can get stuck and then sometimes get a little bit of a infection there, which is not a good thing. So we're gonna score this out a little bit. So make, so the meat flows out easier and you can cook it too. So what I start from is, I start this way. Just kind of slash here a little bit. Right here, don't go all the way, but slash there. Uh, also from the top, okay, just a little bit with the tip of the knife. So, you know, with knife use too, it's kind of funny, everybody uses a different way, but the tip is such an interesting part where you just kind of use a little bit here, there. Same here, just there. Oh, sh see, I got myself, I stuck myself a little bit. Uh, these are scaled too. So scales, as you can see, run this way. Um, there's a tool called a scaler, which you can go around here and you do with running water. Hold like this and then just pull it. If you don't have a scale, use the back of a knife and you can kind of take it out that way. But this has been scaled, so just FYI, it needs to be scaled. And just showing you that too. Little slashes here, see some of the scales coming off here, just take it off. I'll have to peel it off a little more. Uh, here, just a little bit, just a little slash here. And a little slash here. Okay, great, and then I'm gonna do it on the other side and repeat, and then I'll show you, and then we're gonna season this up. Okay, so on both sides, sharp knife is good, just a little bit here and there, and so I'm gonna make sure I got all the scales off, uh, just like that. Bounty towels your friend, just to make sure it's wiped dry, because we're gonna put it into a hot pan, so uh, any kind of water will make it pop and snap, so not so good, so we wanna just kinda keep it as dry as possible, so that's done. Uh, so salt, kosher salt, uh, you can use some sea salt too, just use a little less, uh, good amount, and I get it kind of in those lines too, make sure the fish is seasoned on the inside a little bit. That little dorsal area, just again, be careful. Just rub that in there, a little bit on the inside as well. It's cleaned up as well in the gut area. Here too, all over. Uh, it's gonna fall off a little bit, but do this. Let this sit for a little bit, like maybe a few minutes, five minutes, and it can be outside of the fridge, because we're gonna go into the pan in a second but that's gonna help it absorb some of that salt and give it that nice flavor. If not, like I said, it will fall off the pan, in the pan and not stick to your fish. That could be an issue. Okay, got a pan. I'm, so we're gonna put the fish in there and nonstick is your best friend because it's just gonna make sure that it doesn't stick there because that's not what you want because then it's gonna stick there and then your fish is gonna come off. Big problem, you don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flavor the oil with ginger. So probably about a tablespoon, almost two tablespoons. Uh, with not stick, you can probably go a little less, but I want to make sure I got that. Um, so ginger, just like this, just a little some slices here, they're peeled. And we're going to flavor this, just like this. Add that in there. And make sure that it gets sizzle in the oil. So just like five pieces like that. Uh, it's also good to do vegetables this way, so you can get the oil there, flip it, make it nice, sure they're caramelized, not um, burned. And then you can stir fry vegetables, some salt, very simple way to do your veg as well. So we're going to let that go. And then basically, once it gets colored, the ginger, we're gonna put our fish that's been sitting there. So when it's almost ready and the fish has been salted and sitting, you can start this process. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and you can see, I kind of swirled it around a little bit here or there. Just to make sure, I'm gonna remove these, gar this, sorry, ginger pieces. Like that, be careful, it's hot. Okay, take these away, they've done their job. We added some nice flavor, now they're dead. And now be careful too, you don't wanna wreck the skin, but we got this, so you kind of take a look, right? So don't be nervous, see, it's kind of cooked on the inside so you have an idea of where it's at. That's why this fish is great because, you know, for those who are novice cooks, you can kind of really exactly see where you are with this fish. Then turn it over just like that, see? Nice and crispy. That non-stick really helps a lot. And then we're gonna finish this on this side. Drain, take it out, drain it, finish the sauce right on top. But there, like, there we go, it's starting, almost there. Okay, so this is ready on the other side. You can kind of see how the, the meat's pulling away. But like I said, just be gentle. Now that it's cooked, it's gonna be much more uh, tender, so it will come apart easy. But you can take a look here. This is the one way you see on the cut side. Just see what it looks like. If it pulls up a little bit like that, it's gonna be nice and ready. So a little more, a little bit in that nice fat there. And I've got a, a platter ready you know, for it. So you need a landing pad. So always be ready. I'll also have the next step. So this way too, I'm gonna do this gently. 
If it's a really big fish, you're gonna need two spatulas because the weight of it will break in half. So this one's just big enough like that. So we're gonna place that here. I'm gonna shut the heat off here. I'm gonna drain this because now it's got all that fish. I keep a little bit in there just to saute some of the ingredients. And we're gonna toss away probably half of that. Uh, plus it's really burned up, but it's got some of that ginger flavor in there. Let that rest for a second, and then we're gonna work this off. Okay, so it's drained out, I got a little bit of that there, Shaoxing wine. Let that evaporate out. A little bit of water to kind of do that. Or I'm not gonna use stuff, so I'm gonna use water for this. A little bit of sugar. Let that dissolve right in there. Come down a little bit. I'm gonna add the whites of the scallion in there as well just to get that flavor and we'll use the green as a little bit of garnish. Press it down to dissolve. Then I'm going to add soy sauce. Just like that while the heat's still on. Let that cook down a little bit. Just like that. Okay. And then once that's nice and dissolved, we're gonna... Okay, so it's good, it's like a little sweet. And, and then I'm gonna shut that off. Add a little sesame oil at the end. Swirl that around, okay. Now, the green of the scallion in there. Same thing like the last, I did a Singapore noodle video and I just wanted to get that heated through. So it's not so raw. Okay, and then from head to tail, make sure it's getting it all over there. Just like that, nice and hot and sizzling. And we're gonna, it's gonna have some of it right there. And what I do a little bit differently right there is add a little acid. Sometimes, you know, that you can use the, the Chinese aged vinegar. Chinese vinegar, but I'm gonna use a little lemon, so a little more Western on that, but I think it adds a nice little acidity to that fish. And there you go. Happy New Year, a little whole fish there. And then, uh, you know, with corgi too, you can take that up and you can see how it comes up here. Nice and nice and nice. Just be careful of the bones, but nice and flaky, and then you serve that with a little bit of the sauce with a spoon. Enjoy.